ile shida ambayo imekaa kwenye jamii uh, ili nani mwenye wajibu wa kubadilisha maisha ya watanzania okay. jamii ama hao wanasiasa au nani hasa anapaswa kubadilisha maisha ya watanzania so i've got a question for you Rico. so mwanasiasa sio pati ya jamii ni mwanapati wa jamii lakini kuna miu mtizamo wa kijamii unajua uh-huh. ili swali linapoliuliza mimi napenda nivae uh-huh. ile mtizamo wa kawaida kabisa uh-huh. uliyoko kwenye jamii uh-huh. so kupitia jibu lako uh-huh. mtu mwingine atajua okay. yeah. so kama is it the so serikali ni ni ni, ni ku, ku, ku ni role ya serikali au role ya mwananchi yani ni nani hasa what mm. what the government can't work alone Africa waje kwanza tuongelee kazi. Africa needs to generate billions of jobs by 2030. Hata government zetu zote zingekaa pamoja. They can't do it on their own. They cannot. It is us the people who are supposed to come out and 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 do the work. The government can't do it on its own. Na kama there's a government that thinks it can, it is lying to itself, lying to the people and it's destroying our, our country. Or not necessarily I don't mean in terms of Tanzania but I'm, because i think our government is doing quite a bit lakini it might be destroying that country whatever country it is a government does not function on its own a government is not a silo you you, you know the quote of abraham lincoln right mm-hmm. by the people for the people yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so and and that is the true the true essence of what we need to do the people need to realize that the government don't build nations people build nations because eventually e government is sahivi this what wa kishatoka the ones who come through are the ones who were the people mwanzoni so government is made by the same people who are in society right mm-hmm. they were in so, the, for example the people in our government right now they were in society in the 80s and the 90s they in government now mm-hmm. there were people then people for the people yes <laughs> so it's the people because whether wherever you are sitting you need to know that it is your responsibility to find a way to build our nation government ni tadi tu you see it's an authority ni tadi it's a title and yes it has it has its 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 roles that are very critical that that they need to be there kwamba ni wanaongoza ndio lakini wewe mwenyewe kama kama as long as i call myself m tanzania i have a responsibility to my home that means tanzania is home you see so each and every single person has that responsibility to make it happen for our country for your country yeah it's not the government's role on its own it's not the ngo community's job on its own it's not private sector's job on its own ni pamoja haiwezi kutokea na group moja kijana ni nguvu wanasema kijana ni taifa la kesho mhm you believe that i think it's a lie kijana ni taifa la leo asante like me i don't even understand why people i go somewhere and say oh yo yo taifa la i'm like kwanza kwanza now mimi ni taifa la iko so now sasa hivi mimi nani i'm like no mimi ni taifa la leo we are the taifa and that's the thing we are yani tume tume tumejenga hii notion kwamba oh we are going to wait hiyo kesho ni lini this kesho never comes they were saying this this kesho never comes even to my four year child tell your old child i tell her you are responsible for this country so for example ukiwa barabarani akitaka kutuka chuka nje namwambia what are you doing you are responsible to make sure your street is clean every single person has a responsibility so kila mtu ana yani ni ni jambo lako yeah sante sana kama eh swali langu jingine linalofuata ni kwamba tunaona kuna huu mtizamo kuna muda 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 mfupi uliopita tulikuwa tuna discuss ile right everything right 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 before tujaanza rasmi kila kitu kinachokuja if you want to do this ah, right for this right for this if you you know what i like mean right 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 yeah right, ile right zile haki haki za watu haki za watoto mm, mm, haki za nini haki za nini na bahati moja mbaya uh, jamii yetu kama inakuwa kwa upande wangu naonaaga sawa hivyo vitu vinapaswa kuwepo haki za watu haki sijui za nini haki za nini lakini naangalia upande ambao unatugusa sana kama vijana. Right. Katika mazungumzo yako hapa ulimention kitu ndio maana ndoa nyingi zinakufa. <laughs> Sasa hivi unakutana na kijana anatoka shuleni, mwanafunzi labda binti eh. Eh nyuma huko tulikuwa tunajua mwanamke akifikisha miaka 18 anapaswa kuolewa na nini si right. By then of course mfumo wa elimu haukuwa kama ulivyo sasa hivi which yeah. is of course good kwa sababu una wage si ndio? Mm-hmm. Lakini shida inakuja uh, wasichana wengi sana especially wanaomaliza chuo. Mm. Yaani ukienda kwao atakwambia 
Nataka nimalize chuo, nimalize miaka mitatu kwanza niishi mwenyewe na mimi nione. Is that right? Yaani sasa na yeye aone mimi. Kwamba <laughs> yani hataki kuingia kwenye marriage mm. na kumbuka nimeshafanya uh, interview na wasichana karibia watatu wanne hapa, mm. si ndio? Lakini ukiwa unauliza kuhusu marriage wao wanaona kama sio kitu ambacho ni priority kwao. Mm-hmm. And yet we tunasema kwamba hili maisha yawe bora tunataka familia iliyo ungana. Mm-hmm. Tunaiform vipi hiyo familia kama uh, dada zetu wenyewe wanaogopa, wanaogopa kuingia kwenye. Yeah, but then yeye tu wengi kwenye sio wanadada wenyewe, mm-hmm. wakaka wenyewe. Mm-hmm. Mimi naweza kusema kwenye percentage yetu tuseme. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so So how do we form Hebu rudi ile swali tena. Mm-hmm. Manake umeliuliza mara yani I can answer it kwenye nafasi tatu tofauti. Naomba uzijibu hizo katika nafasi tatu tofauti. So your question is if I can I can I can simplify. Your question is okay. One. Ah uh, hivi yana kukaa kwanza anasema ukimaliza chuo you have to take time na wewe ujaribu maisha kuhusu kuhusu mwenyewe. Yeah. Yaani ujaribu maisha mwenyewe uone what you can build kwa sababu kwamba uh, wanataka nao waone what they can bring. Right. Kwa hiyo hawaichukuli ndoa kama kitu muhimu sana. Right. Lakini at the same time tunasema kwamba eh, ndoa ili familia iwe bora tunahitaji ili mali tutengeneze jamii iliyo bora. Tunahitaji familia ambayo imeungana. Right. Na familia inatengenezwa kati ya msichana na mvulana. Okay. And trust me ni, ni vizuri zaidi kuingia kwenye ndoa mapema kwa sababu unakuwa responsible kwa nao mapema pia vizuri si ndio right. sasa tutafikaje ile hapo tuna hii jamii ambayo ina hii mitazamo mibaya kwa kwenye ndoa well i, I think kila mtu ana mtazamo wake na mitazamo inajengeka na vitu ambavyo wame experience yeah. in the past yeah. it can be things they experienced in their own families or as you are or it can be experiences that they have seen mm. mtu akiamua kutoka kuingia kwenye ndoa immediately after chuo mm. and they want to can wanataka kuangalia yeye kama yeye anaweza kufanya nini mm. As long as that's their goal I still think it's fine okay. because the thing is kuna wengine ambao moja kwa moja wants to get married but lengo lake kwenye kuolewa au kwenye kuoa is not necessarily how am I going to build a life um, with this woman or with this man ambao inaweza kanisaidia mimi kuwa the best I can be for my nation no mm. a lot of people it's the reasons that you get married mm. mimi niki, nikiongea na mtu mm. if the reason that they want to get married has nothing to do with their personal growth or with mm. that other person's personal goals mm. you you can say they're not ready mm. you, they're not ready okay. you see and, and it's one of those things that and ndo mfano niko nasema ndo maana ndo nyingi because and especially for our age age group a lot of people get into marriage with high expectations of the other person yeah. with high expectations of what the marriage life is going to be but with very low expectations for them of what their role is going to be right na unakuta watu wengi wanafikia sehemu wanashindwa kujago and the reason is because we have not bred a mature generation of people who can think critically be empathetic even within that space you see kwamba mtu anatafuta ndoa ini 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 satisfy nini i'm looking for it because i want to get something out of it however me as a christian i'm like you need to get to a place that you like how can i serve what am i giving how is this going to um how how is my participation in this relationship going to help this person be the best they can be for our nation and vice versa right and that's the kind of thinking that we need a lot of people ambao wanaogopa kuingia kwenye kwenye ndoa maana kisio kama hawataki mimi na i perceive it as vulgar because people have seen very many things and kiukweli we have seen too many families break na unakuta akina dada wengi they have seen unfortunately the negative things that can happen when no one's not break so either they have been raised by single mothers who have had to hustle or they have been raised by a mother ambao anamwona anadunzwa kila siku au so you find that perceptions is andoa it's not necessarily as positive as you'd like it to be so i i, I mean i wouldn't lean on either side i just think maturity is very important um and knowing how you're going to serve the other person is also very important from the very beginning. Okay, thank you for that question. Uh mtazamaji wa kitambo ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni swali langu la bonus kulingana na ma, na mazungumzo tuliyozungumza naye kwa hiyo mwanzoni halila. Mwanzoni. Halila. <laughs> <laughs> okay, utanizoea naomba usamee kwa sababu sijalizoea kutoa. Eh, hey, ita yani ndo practice. Sasa yeah. mindset inabidi u shift ili uanze ku. Askio. Swali langu uh, ili is very emotional kidogo. Okay. Yeah, uh, 
kulingana na historia ya maisha yangu ambayo nimekuwa na kulingana na jinsi ambavyo nimeona mama yangu ana struggle kutenge ku struggle at least kutufanya sisi twende shule uh, alikuwa nikupe tu mfano mdogo alikuwa anamka saa nane, anaenda shambani anatoka saa kumi na mbili anaenda kuuza gongo atoka ile saa kumi na mbili akipika gongo zake akauza mchana anaenda kufanya biashara zingine yani wakati nyewe wengine wanaingia shambani yeye anatoka kwenda nani ku, 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 kufanya biashara nyingine ili at least watoto wake waende shule and na shukuru kwamba alifanikiwa kutufanya at least tupate shule hatujapata shule kubwa lakini at least tumepata shule hii ambayo imetujenga ha hivi mabadiliko ya maisha ya kijana is it necessary aende shule au yanategemea uelewa wa shule peke yake Uh, yeah, sitaki kuzungumzia sitaki kuliweka in that way uh-huh. nataka kuongelea haya maisha ya kufiti in the society right? okay okay yeah. then ask it again mm-hmm. now you're touching a third thing so i'm like <laughs> 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 hey. i streamline my answer mm-hmm. yani tuanze hivi tuanze yeah. taratibu kwa yeah. sababu tunafanya discussion yeah haya maisha yetu mm-hmm. ya malezi ambayo tunakuwa tunaona wazazi wetu wanafanya yeah. yana impact gani kwenye maisha yetu kama vijana I think an impact kubwa sana like you said so for you i think like tuna ina impact kubwa however how mtu ana receive ile impact depends on choices that they make right kwamba ukiona mzazi anapitia kitu cha tabu hali hali fulani ngumu unaweza kuona ile kijana ambaye anasema i want to grow and work hard to make sure kwamba mzazi wangu hiki kitu haipiti tena you know or watoto wangu wasipitie the thing i'm passing through and then you have another one who is who comes from the school of thought of oh she's my mother anyway ni lazima afanye hivyo so you are entitled kwamba it has to happen anyway afu unakuta huyo huyo wa pili ndio yule ambaye anajenga victim mentality right so you can have a person who looks at the situation and decides to find a positive impact on it kuna mwingine ataangalia the same situation they'll get a negative impact on it and what what makes these people see life different impact ni ile ile moja kila mtu kila mtu ana make choices right we can we can talk about jinsi um makuzi yanaweza ku impact mtoto all we want but at the end of the day you get to a point where you can make a choice right and of course your choice is backed up by makuzi yako but it's also backed up by what you see around you but it's also backed up by your inner faith and things that you decide as a person so i feel that this backgrounds kama hivyo kama hizo they do have much impact for vijana na wengine unaweza kukuta ndo hivyo it becomes very negative wengine it becomes positive and you'd find that for those who are positive those become who we call the outliers maana ndo wale ambao wakitoka huko ni kwamba we want ninatoka kama kikosi mtu mmoja kama kikosi because i want to make things happen because i have seen so much pain i want to create a space that that solves a problem that my parents had because you come out you want to form, form solutions you know um so yes it has a lot of impact right mm. okay na haya kuwa na hiki kizazi chenye huu mtazamo wa kivivo unakukera una kiasi gani wewe kama kijana Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
pata kujifunza uh-huh. nje inafikia kiasi gani so let me let me connect the questions mm. now let's connect kwamba from ama unaweza ukawa na uh, unaweza ukawa na 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 na, na kijana mm. ambao ametokea afi nyingine mm. lakini akawa akaishia kwa one of the ladies what you're talking about no 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 but it's, it's kind of no Then i'm it, answering your question mm-hmm. let's go with it mm-hmm. okay can end up being one of the lazy people you're talking about mm-hmm. or you can find somebody else who takes a different route mm-hmm. laziness mm-hmm. ndo hiyo sasa tunaenda kwenye ile victim mentality that's where it comes from mm-hmm. kwamba i'm deserving mm-hmm. you know the world needs to give me something mm-hmm. there's something that you know i'm obliged mm-hmm. the government needs to give me mm-hmm. or shule haifunipa rafiki mm-hmm. hakuniambia mama hakusema mm. so you sit back and you're waiting for everybody to bring you solutions mm. without really realizing that the solutions start with you mm. you see mm. then it goes back to connecting to the first the conversations we had earlier kwamba fursa zimekanda ni ya watu jinsi inavonikera inanikera sana inanikera sana it's in it's an na si nadhani kwangu sio neno sio kukera inaniuma it pains mm. because you see kwamba there is so much talent there's so much resources na sambo inakupa because people do not understand kwamba they are the answers that man that they are the answers that we need that situation you are going through that's the same situation i'm also going through tutengeneze uh tutengeneze ni tutengeneze kijana mwenye mwenye mtazamo upi kwanza mwanzo you see when 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 you understand purpose then when you understand for example naweza kutoa mfano ambao uko two out there but for example super now right his job was what save the people that was his purpose whenever there's a problem i come in and solve it like in the problem the problems that i fix are crime things that people other people can fix this is my area type right up ile kwa kivunjika you don't fall super now right so he had a ka- area at chake sisi in the, now coming back to real life every single person has purpose kama tulivyosema every single person has a gift ambayo ni solution for africa kama tulivyosema the thing that needs to happen is we need to find ways to help people awaken to realizing kwamba they are the solution kama mtu akishajielewa kwamba yeye mwenyewe ni fursa kwamba yeye mwenyewe ni ja, ni jibu to problem then it changes their mindset about how they relate to the world and we need to say this over and over and over and over and we can't stop we can never stop saying it the things that you're doing with mitamboy we should never be able to get to a point where we're like okay now we've done enough we should say it a million times because unakuta vijana wengi hao pia wakitoka wanapotoka from the backgrounds that they come from the backgrounds we come from you've never been told that you have a solution within you You have never been told that you are an opportunity. You have never been told that you're talented. You have never been told. You've never heard these things. So now, let's create something that can tell them over and over and over and over and over again. That's what coaches, wow, what you want to succeed my my you. They have coaches. Even up at Tanzania, you have people who have coaches, but we have to find a way to 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 motivate the mass to see kwamba the dreams, the passions and the things they have within those are what we need you don't yes we need to what wanasema oh hatu lakini structures tulizo nazo haziwezi hazisaidi dreams kutoka or structures ambazo hazinazo zinadidimiza sana yeah that's the fact but that cannot be what stops you and then i'm like unajua kama daraja kila mtu ni daraja there's experiences and things that you do that can get people from one side to the other side but we need to shift the perception kwamba the world owes me everything and kwamba i myself kwamba wewe kijana ni fursa kwamba within you there's a fire that's burning that you need to bring out you see and 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 that's what needs to happen we need to say it over and over and over and over and over again because that's what that's what happens in this these very successful countries that we read about they they motivate their people to see change and to see themselves as the as the as the instruments of change. Come on, don't wait for somebody else to do it. You're right there. Sante sana. Kuna swali kule? Sante sana. Okay. Sasa mimi nitakuwa na flip kidogo. 
Yeah, naona hiyo hiyo imekuwa too much emotional. <laughs> yeah, you remind me of my friend ambaye yuko very emotional. Kiu kifanya hata kitu. Yeah, the most emotional man I've seen. Unaelewa? <laughs> so my question is uh kwa mfano mimi nafanya sana. I've chosen sana kwa my life. Uh tukiangalia sana ya Tanzania nikisema sana na manisha generally like sana ya uigizaji jukwani filme uchekeshaji like kila kitu uh, ukiangalia level yake ni kama hai, haiko vizuri na hairidhishi uh, from what you've been saying ni kwamba we don't miss talent we don't we don't miss people to do that we have uh, why if we are growing is very slow why are we not are we not popping up yani yeah people miss the drive to seek excellence that's it why are we not popping up and what should be done yeah people yeah people miss the drive to seek excellence the thing is you can be born with a great talent and you can die with your great talent tukufanayopia you know as long as that talent is not turned into value just so we're talking about money you shall you shall die with it a lot of we find within our arts industry very many people are complacent ukishatoa kitu watu wamekupigia makofi basi hiki hiki get better hollywood now is not hollywood as it was in 1930s bollywood now you can't compare there's always development and it's got people who are curious my thing why you know stay curious kama umefanya umeshafanya mtu mtu amekutiki amekupa tiki watu wamekubali then seek to do something that was better than what you did before you always have to be your biggest competition that's the problem with our industry honestly it's just complacency kwamba nimefanya hiki it's it's good enough where i'm like good is never good enough because there is so much more within those people who are talented there's so much more so ile kwamba don't settle that's that's it don't settle and what should be done about it okay it's not something that can be done at once i think what needs to happen is there's got to be role models and examples of people who keep pushing and right now within the arts industry we do see people who are starting to push people are not they're not comfortable you know people are not comfortable as a creative kusema kwamba nimefika the the end of my creativity unajidanganya unatudanganya unatuoidia the potential to be able to see your greatness right we need to we need to have these role models come out more and more and more and to show examples of what pushing looks like so it has to be done by different people in different spots at different times but it's got to you know ambia kwamba it takes small small efforts small efforts but then also people coming together eh? realizing kwamba i have something you have something let's come together and let's let's put our message together so that people hear it as a whole you know so it's it's not something that you can answer at once but what needs to happen is here role models need to come out a lot more and people need to be more daring to be curious curious so unakutana na mtu amefanya filming anakuonyesha film yake ya 2011 anakuonyesha film yake ya leo ya 2018 or 19 mwanzoni unaangalia una compare the same it's the same thing i'm like uh, i want to watch it it's the same thing the most constant thing in creative being a creative is change you find ways to make things better and and that's what we need people who are yani shamelessly seeking for excellence on different levels the, and those kosma why are we not popping up is because people don't want to watch the same thing over again and kumbuka na this the competition is unanimous it's huge kwenye kwenye big cities people are competing with netflix you're competing with netflix my goodness you're competing with youtube tena tupuizi na mitandao ya kibongo competition in zito you're competing with google bongo you're competing with free facebook these are the things you're competing with now watu huko nje people don't play competition is heavy so people decide to be creative and that's what we need excellence you cannot show me a stage play mwaka huu and it's the same thing that i've seen in 2013 nikakuchulia seriously i'm like are you serious what happened because and 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 sio kwamba na sisi kwa mabaya ni kwamba we need to be able to motivate each other to to push yani kusukuma the 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 creativity threshold we need to keep pushing and push aggressively 
if somebody leo ananiambia they still mtu ananiambia mimi i want to do a show that's the same as Ojuang and Mimi in in the 1990s i'm like you got to be kidding me what is the next step what is the next step from there because things the constant thing is change and kiukweli tunaona kidogo we have seen we see things happening we see people who have come up who are uncomfortable and and right now ndo man at these bongo movies people are starting to take it seriously because we're like ah people are people are hungry and that's what needs to happen wananja kwamba we want to make it happen and we can't be we can't say kwamba watanzania wamekukubali so i'm satisfied my friend that's una the limit people need to see our talent africa is the most talented but i say most of the talent is right here in tanzania sante uh ina kwa ni sala sana and i hope leo kuna kuna siku takuja kuitana tuzungumze mambo ya sana tufanye kitu kimoja unajua kwamba tunaposema hivi kwamba kwenye maji kwenye maisha kwenye jamii kila mtu ana responsibility zake ambazo anapaswa ku play si ndio right ili kutengeneza jamii ambayo ni nzuri ambayo eh, ina mtizamo huu mpana wa 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 kuweza ku reason na kuamua ili kufikia mafanikio si ndio right. napenda nijue eh, kwa uzoefu wako responsibility ya maisha ya kijana kama kijana kwa sababu hii ni kama message tunaelekea kufunga right. uh, na responsibility ya kijana pale ambapo anaenda kuwa kama mzazi yani si unajua kwamba wewe ni kijana lakini ni mzazi si ndio kwa hiyo responsibility yako kijana ambaye ni mzazi mm-hmm. au kisha so kwa mzazi responsibility asini. ya mzazi ya mzazi mm-hmm. right responsibility ya mzazi mm-hmm. ni mzazi lakini kuna hii shida kwamba kwa ni mzazi mzazi weni wa una mtoto lakini uko chini ya miaka 45 si ni kijana Yeah but then what does it make? does it make a difference with mzazi ambaye yuko na miaka 60? Eh. Ni mzazi, <laughs> okay. still have the same bottom life as school kids. Okay, so this was me to say what are we? Ni ni ni. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This <laughs> fine. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, kwa sababu si most of the time we are together. Unajua mimi maswali anayokuuliza namuelewa zaidi. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> na muelewa zaidi yani i know yani iko hivi like a, a girl right. who is not married right. uh, kwa Tanzania hii kwa ambao tumekuwa tunakutana nao yeah. like they don't know their responsibilities okay. yani that's what she, i mean that was uh, that was he sees always like you find a girl is in uh, yuko labda mlimani mwaka wa pili and she she's expecting to be a mother one day right hajui yani okay So the responsibilities of a girl before being married yeah. it's the responsibility of both both men and women before being married the responsibility is to to learn and be mature to understand what it takes to build a good home yes. yani that is the number one responsibility unaweza kukuta mtu can do all the things that you talk about whether it's the husband or the wife they can cook they can do amazing things but they have no idea how to build a family mm-hmm. how do you build a family One of the things and which is ties into the responsibility of the youth haki ya nani the biggest responsibility not just your shule that all of us have is to commit to learning you are responsible to expand your modula oblongata your brain this thing that we've been given that is your responsibility tunataka kusema kwamba there are other things like you have to be oh civic responsibility you know um, be educated you are responsible kujiendeleza you are responsible but that all streams from somebody who's curious about learning one of the things that mimi that bothers me a lot is i meet a lot of youth who are menambia and uh, nambia oh nimemaliza chuo mwaka miaka mitano iliyopita natafuta kazi i'm like okay um so um what have you done in those five years jamani nimekaa tu nyumbani na nasubiri kazi hiyo i'm like okay so what are your credit what what are your what um credentials una what have you done oh nina nina degree i'm like and in these five years what have you done ah nina degree i'm like bobu if that's all you have then you are shortchanging yourself my dear you are resp- 
possible to make sure that you are speaking as many skills as you can for the future life that you have. You're responsible to learn how to save. That's learning. You won't be taught that in school. You are responsible to find different shows like this that can motivate you towards your dream. You're responsible to find out what your dream is and figure out how to create the steps that you need to get there. Nilikutana na mtu ni mwalimu kwenye shule ambapo sitaisaidia hapa. Ananiambia kwamba ali by the time ametoka chuo alikuwa ana own acre kumi kule makongo. How? Because when he got into into uni, he came from a very hard background, single mother, same story. But he he had a goal or things that he wanted to do and he gave himself the task to be a learner. And that one way or the other has allowed him to build. Sasa hivi he's working people would not know that that man is financially free. He works because anapenda and he was financially free 2 years after university because he committed to learning and every single time you're talking about what are the things that i need to learn so that the life that i envision can happen it's it's you you're responsible for it and also that also um, ties into your responsibility for the nation because mtu ukianza kujifunza you will learn that you're not only responsible for yourself but you're responsible for the people around you so that is the nation right what are you building and what what repercussions that you have to people around you responsibility to your family which is what you touched on to as a woman how can i play my part so that my family stands as a man how can i play my part that a family stand how can we play that part together because sometimes unaweza kukuta kuna some families ambao the mwanaume is the one who loves cooking and that is fine you find a man who yani yeye kuingia jikoni anafanya mambo mpaka unashika kichwa you're like eh dada kachi you know what i mean and that's fine you find you within that area they define their own role and i and by the way just as a sideliner i think it's it's okay for every single couple to define the roles within their families if people are comfortable with a certain way that's how they're comfortable and that's fine because we start judging people oh umeingia jikoni umepika wewe si mwanaume i'm like that's not true it's just ridiculous but but yeah responsible we are responsible to learn mtu anaweza kuniambia anakuja ofisini tunaongelea kitu anaambia mimi sijui hiko and i'm like well you knew i was going to ask you a question about this and you have all the resources online between nyumbani na mkutano bobo nitaingia kwenye youtube by the time i'm kwenye mkutano i'm an expert you learn and that's the constant thing we have to be lifelong learners salangu la mwisho alafu nitakuomba message yako kwa jamii ili tufunge ah nani commitment ya mabadiliko kwa mwanadamu inaanza kwenye level gani rephrase that in english Uh, I don't know that I've understood it really. Uh, and like when does the spirit of commitment ile, ile, the spirit of change within a person begin kwenye age gani au kwenye level gani ya maisha yake? So that these things that I need to say there are different stages of life ambapo people anapitia au binadamu anapitia. Mm. There's your dream years mm. when you had when you as a, as a kid you okay, what do you want to be you have 50 things. Mm. Those your dream years. Mm. And then there's your reality years. Mm. This is the time when life happens. Mm. When you're like na dream years unaweza kukuta inaweza kufika it depends on your background. You can issue 16, 15 and then reality years can start 17. It depends again on your background. Mm. All the way until 30 something. Maisha mm. nakubonga. Mm. Alafu kuna zile your should have could have would have years mm. where you're like man I should have I could have I would have mm. but then imesha kupita. Mm. Your dream years between your dream years and your reality years. Mm. That's where that needs to happen. It's never too early for someone to have a shift. It never is. Mtu anaweza akapata shift at any age. It can be nine. I was watching this thing about a nine year old, nine year old CEO in the um up up Africa. I won't mention the company but this boy had a shift when he was eight. It happens. So I'm like I I I I I find it very very hard to put an age on it. It can start we need to go young. Yani we need to go down. Because that's when that's when those dreams are alive and well and they've not been infested by our comparison and our poking it needs to start young when the point when somebody realizes that I I I need to make this I need to do this for my life to bring out this it needs to start start young otherwise ndio tunakuwa na vijana ambao wanapitia maisha wa vitu wanafanya vitu we we've all done that you do all these things and then you get to a point where you're like oh now I'm going to decide to settle but then you've wasted so much time 
I don't want to say it's a waste, but it's experience that sometimes I took him with him to. If there is there anything you change about your life, you'd find that there's somewhere there. And I'm, ah, I would have done away with that. But we need to start young. We don't just start educating youth about mindset change and dreams when they are 18 or when 16, 17. We need to start down cooling. And that way, we know that we are building a Tanzania within, by the time how I'm 12 and raring to go, when I think I to Nadia City in our old age, we know that we have built something meaningful. Okay, thanks, Sana. Number one is idea. Uh, tunafunga kwa sababu ya muda wetu na kila kitu. Lakina, I hope like uh, tutatafta sechea nyingine ya kuja kuzungumzia in deep kusu upande wa sana. Leo tumebeze sana kwenye maisha ya vijana. Eh? Number, utuache na meseji yako kwa vijana. Okay, I'm going with that camera here. Okay, yeah. this is deep. All right, so um, kitu ambacho ni naamini ni kwamba kila mtu, kila moja wetu, ana kitu ndani yake ambao kina husu dunia yetu. Kuna kursa ndani yako ambayo dunia inatakiwa kuiona. So one of the things ambayo kijana ni lazima a commit to. Commit kuwa mwanafunzi wa maisha. Commit kujiongezea ujuzi from every source that is available to you. Be a lifelong learner. Find ways ambayo iyo ndoto ambayo inaeza ikawa ndani yako either imedininizwa au iko juu. How, whatever it is. Kama una ndoto ndani yako, find a way to bring it out. Because we need that. Africa needs youth who are dedicated to push and develop themselves so that Africa can develop. Kama vijana hatujiendelezi, Africa haitaweza kuendelea hata siku moja. Because sisi ndio wale ambao tutajenga Africa na Tanzania na Africa kwa ujumla. So that's my message. Commit to be a lifelong learner. You have wewe ni fursa, you have a dream inside you that can change this continent, that can, can change this country. So find it and help us find it as well. Yeah. Sante sana kwa wakati wako. Hawiwa, mtizamaji wa jitambwe forum, uh, nadhani umekua wakati mzuri sana. Uh, uh, mimi kwangu imekua interview ngumu sana kwa sababu umeongea vitu emotional zaidi kwangu. Uh, <laughs> Mikushukuru sana kwa hiyo. Uh, uh, mtizamaji wa jitambwe forum ni kukumbushe tuko mbaleo tukua na hala mboi. Uh, ni kijana mwenzetu amba anafanya vitu vingi sana kwenye jamii leo tukua nae tukiongelea upande wa kumjenga kijana katika kujitambua lakini I hope uh, next time pia tutakutana nae ili tuongele uh, mambo mbali mbali kama hasa kwa upande wa sana uh, na hii itakuwa ni maususu kwa wale vijana ambao zaidi wanaye base kwenye sana either iwe acting, iwe stand up comment yani hile sana kwa ujumla na jinsi ambavo sana sana inaweza kubadisha maisha ya maisha yetu hawe inaweza kato saidia ikawa ni ajira ambayo inathaminika kuanzia mwe ni mwako. Uh, Mi naitua Pius, uh, mjomba mjomba, ni kushukuru mpaka wakati mungine tena.